Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Red. This is a gift from magnificent bastard Kyle Kubiak. Kyle Kubiak, you magnificent bastard. This is a brewery. South Bend. South right? Bend. Hunter proof. That worked with bourbon. The Indiana Whiskey <laughs> Company okay. to release a whiskey. Hmm. So obviously they're gonna take one of their beers. I don't know. Come on, they have no, to. No, I they don't have to. I don't actually know. All right. So they don't say anything in it at all about how they made it, and nowhere on the website does it mention anything about it. Hmm. It just says we work with our friends to do it, yeah. and part of the proceeds go to nonprofits in town. Okay. That's it. Coming from a brewery, do you think it's gonna smell beery? I don't know. All right. It's not a brewery, though. Well, a whiskey company made it. Bourbon. It whiskey. was made. It says Brewworks. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. So I'll start over. This is a brewery who worked with a whiskey distillery. Yeah. The whiskey distillery made the whiskey, not right. them. They weren't involved. But I'm saying, if they're involved, my point is, there's a brewery involved. Uh, very often, the brewery likes to kind of lead with a beery kind of nose, at least, even though on the taste, it's not going to necessarily be super beery. So if you have beer people participating, collaborating, if they're being brought into that process, I can right. see them. It depends on who's making the final decisions. Yeah, well, I don't know that just because you work in a brewery means Maybe. all your whiskey you prefer to be beer. No, no, not all the time. But if we're look, this is a narrative that evolved slightly over the years. But there is a window in time where anytime we would get a spirit that was a brewery. That was when a brewery made it. Yeah, but I'm saying because they often I didn't get, take my their point shit. is. When a brewery made it, it would be a very beery kind of nose, a beery kind yeah, of experience. Yeah, but I think that was because they're starting with process instead of with a finished product. So we right. have no idea of how much steering was done on the brewery no. side of things. It's it just maybe zero. Two people got together and they made a thing. Yeah. Or two groups. As got far together. as I can tell, their impact on it was just choosing it. Okay. But not like anything involved in production. Watch we put our nose in here, it smells like Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> nope. nope. Uh, and this is an Indiana whiskey, not MGV. Yeah. From Indiana Whiskey Company. Yeah, we always feel sorry for people who are in yeah, Indiana. Yeah, I know. And they're not MGP because everybody's going to assume. And they try to do gr everything local. Gr grain Indiana, logos, bob, everything like they can, mm -hmm. Indiana based. I, it's really mild. I'm having a yeah. hard time finding a nose. I'm just getting a, a general whiskey sweetness. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting um, very specific notes on that. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, it's very tight. It's only 100 proof. Yeah. All right, let's try a sip. Oh, that's unique. Oh, what is that? Beery. <laughs> no, it's not beer. It's not beer. There's um, it's a. You know, it feels like it's a bourbon trying to be a little malty. Yeah, there's this slight sour that I would have attributed to a malt sourness. Yeah. I wonder if the mash bill on this is really high malt. Hmm. Hmm. That is very weird bourbon. I wouldn't call it bad, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hmm. Just not sure what to do with that. Very soft and approachable. This is everything that you weren't getting an iron root where you're looking for like somebody who wants easy and approachable and yeah. no struggle, it just rolls down. This definitely does, but it also is super simple and kind of confusing. If I toss it around a little bit, mm -hmm. I get some barrel char with a little bit of a, of a um, caramelized vanilla mm -hmm. just in the back. Let's toss it around, let's toss it around, treat it naughty. You gotta work really hard to get there. Mm -hmm. Even at 100 proof. This is really soft. Yeah, do you got any water laying around? Uh, These are the times of... There's a partially consumed Yeah, it's, water. it's ethanol, it's fine. These are the times that a tight whiskey, the proof is there, it's 100 proof. There's the times a tight whiskey may want to give up a lot more if you just add a little bit of water. That was not very much, but... It was a drop and a half. So one thing I want to say for the Indiana Whiskey Company yes. is they did have on their About Us of their tasting room page yeah. this one word, and if you know, you know the reference, yeah. and it got, I smiled immediately. Mm -hmm. It was titled, A Clean, Well-Lighted Place. Okay. Do you know this reference? Is it from one of your authors? It's from Hemingway. Okay. One of my authors, sure. I'll take <laughs> Hemingway as my author. Yes. It's one of my all-time favorite Hemingway short stories, yeah. titled, A Clean, Well-Lighted well -lighted Place. place. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. and I was like, ah, oh, 
Nice. Now, the rest of the website said literally nothing about whiskey, but... But you get the Hemingway plug. But you got the Hemingway plug, so... All right. That's nice. Nice touch. I am going to go in with a little water. Oh, it did give me the slightest little, slightest little uh, sugary, almost a caramel. It returns it to bourbon a little bit. Yeah. To a classic bourbon. That's yeah. a good, no faults, really simple, mm -hmm. not overly tanned bourbon. Yeah. Dare I say, not bad. Not remarkable. Now, not bad. let's rewind to where we read that one question. I don't know what you're talking about, because the way I add it, Gets in nice and clean. Let's go ahead and move this here so it matches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Clinton Martin tastes like liquid smoke to me. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt, but I want to pour it down the drain and count my losses. What are we talking this about? This was a Lagavulin that he had tried. Hey. Right? So here's the thing. Drain. We've talked about this where you're like, what if you have a shit whiskey? How do you get rid of it? Yeah. But I think we've always approached it under the guise of this is shit. How do you kindly get rid of it? Yeah. What happens if the whiskey you didn't like you know is really loved. Do you wait and really blow someone's mind with like, I'm gonna pour you some log of wool and while well, knowing you don't like it? Yeah, yeah. Do you, but definitely don't pour it down the drain. Well, yeah. Yeah? Well, it depends on the people that you know, man. Do if you, you got some, it? If you got some whiskey friends, but to gift something that's already been opened. Yeah, I know, you gotta pour it. Yeah. You gotta be pouring it. Yeah. And then if but you, what if you don't partake because you don't like it? That's yeah. gonna be weird. I mean, do you have friends or family coming over? Right, you have like an uncle, a cousin, a neighbor who's really into whiskey. Like yeah. these are all the questions that really give me an opportunity to not answer and be frustrating to you. Yeah, bring it out at group gatherings yeah. and just set it on the table. Yeah, honestly, and that's, just be like, that is generous. That's the kind of whiskey that even if you have people in your life that aren't really into whiskey, mm -hmm. they're just over. Say, hey, you guys want to try something? It's an Isla Scotch, it's a smoky Scotch. It's like whiskey nerds absolutely love this thing. Yeah. I want to hear your thoughts. So, even but if he has to drink it again. He doesn't have to. Yeah. That'd yeah. be weird. I'm going to pour this for you. I'm not going to have any because I am I think it's crap. But just to, <laughs> because we're talking about the, the experience being kind right. of the priority, and that's an experience. That's true. Like Lagavulin is definitely unique enough. That's true. That could be really amazing. Um, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.